Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a album review. Um, I never checked this album out. I know I was going to listen to this album, but I kind of forgot about it and just I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this album, so I did give it a shot. I listened to it and finished it up just now. Uh, for Overkill's new album Scorched, I know it came out on April 14th last month. Well. Uh, last month pretty much on April 14th of this year so I'm a little behind on maybe two more albums that I got to catch up on but other than that I'm pretty much almost caught up with everything so I'm going to discuss what I listened to for Overkill's newest album Scorched that did come out last month and let you know my thoughts on this new album of theirs I think it's their 20th album so let's dive into this uh album review now it starts with the title track scorched i think it's a solid track bobby's vocals is hit or miss with certain moments i wasn't sure if i was feeling for how it was sounding overall but i think it did all right instrumentally it's pretty good but the i think the vocals is what throws me off a bit Bobby's vocals so that's just my opinion overall so 4.5 out of 5 going home as a solid track I was actually feeling for the drum work in this track it did pretty well and the guitar works pretty good and how Bobby's singing it from time to time is pretty good and then there's some cringe moments with his vocals with how the song's executing uh, but pretty much 4.5 out of 5 for this one as well the Surgeon was a decent song, not really connecting with this one too much. It's one of the weaker ones, but not the weakest song for this album. So pretty much 4 out of 5. It's just there's some sections in the track that just throw me off and have give me a cringe vibe with how it's sounding. So there's certain moments, I think it's the beginning of the song when it opens up with how Bobby's singing it. I'm just not connecting with his vocals with how he's singing that so that's what made me cringe so four out of five twist of the wick was um okay but it's not my favorite song um i think it's decent um there are some good aspects about it which is the drum work and guitar work but it's just how bobby's singing it some of the lyrics kind of just don't click with me so, 4 out of 5. Wicked Place was pretty solid track in its own way. Um, I'll give that a 4.5 out of 5. I was actually enjoying some aspects about it, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite song. Um, but still. Won't Be Coming Back is a, another solid track. I'm like liking how Bobby's singing the track and the instrumentation in it is pretty good. Guitar and drum work and the execution of the song perform solidly so 4.5 out of 5 fever was well it was solid i guess you could say um pretty much i wasn't sure what i was gonna think of it when i listened to it um it is pretty lengthy but i think it's all right for what it went for so 4.5 out of 5 there are some cringe lines in this track with how uh bobby singing the track but overall it's an alright song. Harder They Fall is a solid one. It's probably the last solid track for this album that I thought was a good track in its own way. So really liking how he's singing it. There are some moments where the background vocalist does... I don't know. It's just sometimes vocally has its hits and misses. But performance-wise, this song did pretty alright. 4.5 out of 5. Know Her Name is a decent one. It's just some of the lyrics kind of are cringe, in my opinion, with certain moments in the track. It just doesn't really connect with me, so it's decent. So 4 out of 5. Instrumentally, it's very good. The lyrics kind of asinine, in my opinion, uh, somewhat. And now we get to the final track, Bag of Bones. This one was the weakest in my opinion. I think I'd give it a 3.5 out of 5. I'm not really connecting with this song too much. I think it's average but because of the instrumentation. But the problem with the song is the lyrics. 
just doesn't click with me in my opinion. So 3.5 out of 5. Overall production mixing and execution wise. I think Overkill's newest album Scorch was a decent album. Not something I'm really going to come back to as the year goes on. Just I'm not really connecting with this album too much. I think instrumentally it's great. It's just certain points in the album with the lyric content with how it's written and all that it just there are some things about it and vocally bobby's vocals kind of throw me off a bit in my personal opinion with how it's sounding there are certain moments where the album does well and then there's quite a bit of messes with certain tracks a uh, couple tracks that kind of bring the rating down so for an overall score for me i'm giving overkill's newest album scorched a 7 out of 10. It's a decent album. Not something, like I said, I'm not going to be coming back to too much like as the year goes on. But it was something. So 7 out of 10 for Overkill's new album, Scorched. There were some tracks I liked, but there were a few misses for this album to bring down the rating, in my personal opinion. So, yeah, thanks for watching.